Scotland, Madhan Alam, children and youth. Auckland, Madhan Alam. Can you guys come this way? Auckland. which is Holy Trinity, right? And Auckland, don't say Auckland, don't say. What's the church name in Auckland? Madhani Adam. Debra Salaam, Madhani Adam, right? A place of peace. Debra Salaam means a uh, mountain of peace, like a uh, place of peace. Uh, Debra Brahan, this is called Debra Brahan, which is place of light, right? So Debra Brahan, this is last year. What is Santa Rosa, don't say. What is the church in Santa Rosa? Don't say. Kana Gadila Kadus Mikhail. Or Kana or uh, Kana of Galilee, right? Kadus Mikhail. Kadus Mikhail is Saint uh, Michael. What is the church in San Francisco? Do we have anybody from San Francisco? Uh, no, it's also Kadus it's also Mikhail. So you guys are one church, one body. You guys have to know the churches. You have to, if there's Nick that's in uh, San Jose, people from Oakland, from San Rosa, from San Francisco, we have to come. Right? If there's Nigdets or any celebration of church in San Francisco, same thing. Oakland, same thing. We are one in body of Christ, right? Okay. So why does the church? 
You guys face your friend here. At school, at the house. Well, that's a lot. I feel like I'm giving That's a lot. Because what you're saying is that you don't have anybody that influences you in a good way. This is how it's possible. You just define it. You said someone is both. So you give me your first half. How do you apply it? So that was like a good one.
like, don't just say like, you know what, just yeah. like, think about something. Now that you think about it, then you'll make the right decision. Not just think about it, but actually pray about it. What is it? The proper code book. You can't. Take people for granted. Get an associate. Right? Continue school. Right? Same with church. Don't just. 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 Don't you start Obama at a city college, and you're going to visit God. And you got to take your two-year, and then you can do it. He, uh, it's he already, or the university he already gave you, uh, or he already gave you, take an associate. Because in four years, do you find when program? everybody graduates with so, one yes. degree, you can't come the Bible. because you have your associate Bible. and you have your bachelor's. Once you have your associate, it's, it's very easy to you find your job. Come to me, for you, and I will write it. Let's say you go to, you go to, you can't pay this to you. Let's say you go to Obama. Are you just going to show up and just look at You have to have conversation, right? When you come to church, bring something. Maybe something that's, something that's happened to your family. Maybe your mom is sick, maybe your dad is sick. Maybe your brother is sick, or maybe you are um, financially there's something like that. Pray about it. Huh? Or, well, or, 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 so, bring something else. Oh, for example, you call someone. You call someone. Hey. Right. For me, they're the worst. They're the worst. I tell you, my friend. Five minutes <laughs> better to go. Now, if I can address the twin, this is not a five minutes. We can talk about it. Okay. So many things in the Bible. Okay. 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 Moses. Like all the saints you made mistakes in life, and it's written in the Bible. Oh, wow. it's, it's not to judge them. It's not to think that they, they were wrong or something. It's to teach them. It's for our benefit. We have to learn from them. So we pick up from where they put the new down there. How it serve for us to start from the Bible? Learn what happens to us from Moses and from that Bible. We learn from our mistakes. So, so your point. So this is a very good uh, revision for us. We're going to revise what we said so far. You forgot what we did. Perfect. That's perfect. Even better. So yeah, don't make an hour long like mine. So what's so what's the pressure? The answers are. Hello. Now we need to make this. You have to write down. We're going to revise the pressure. So what's the pressure? Just to add, do you guys remember what the Athletic was here and said like, about why we go to church? He gave examples of how, like, oh, I'm just young, we don't want to go home, right? So, yeah, so, That's a good choice, so I need to just say whatever you said here and there. Yeah, you can find it out. She had better terms, but you were like, I'm not ready to go to church because you had everything here, right? You had to find out. I'm not ready to go to church. That's the impression. So, I would say, what can you do? How many times is this?
May you all hear the hymns of the angels. So we had four groups. Group one, group two, group three, and group four. So group one, please come. The three representatives of group one. So our discussion point was, uh, what is church for us? What do we think church is for us? And then the second one is, how do we prepare when we come to church? The third one is, how do we communicate with God? And how, God, how does God answer our prayers? So the first question is, what is church? What is church and what is church uh, to us? Uh, church is a place that turns sadness into happiness. Church is, a, church is God's house. Church is a house of forgiveness. It's a place where you get blessed and it's a place where there's peace. Okay, so did you guys see what you, what they said? No? no. So church is a place where you uh, where sadness is turned into happiness, place of joy, place of blessedness, place of happiness, right? Uh, place of forgiveness, right? So how do we prepare? There are th three things that we do before we come to church, or how how we prepare ourselves when we come to church. What's the first thing that we do when we come to church? Right. You get dressed. Proper dressed. Proper dressed. <laughs> Um, we have to have like proper attitude. Oh, bring something to communicate with. Good. Yeah. So the first thing is you have to have proper attire, which is nesala uh, uh, dress for girls, and then men you gotta you gotta have a nice uh, habisha clothes, right? Second one is have the proper attitude. Some people come to church, but they disturb others who are coming to church to pray because they are forced to come to church, right? So you have to have the right attitude. So to have the right attitude, you have to know the answer for the first question, which is the church, if the church is a place of blessedness, happiness, joy, peace, then when you come there, you have to have the right mindset and say, you know what, I'm going to, there to receive happiness, blessedness, peace, so that's the right attitude, right? Uh, third is bring something to communicate with. Like if you call someone, you have to have some conversation with that person, right? So bring something. Maybe that's something going on in your house, in your parents' house. Maybe there's a sickness, financial situation or something. Come to church bringing that issue to God. So um, third one is, third discussion that we had was how does God communicate with us? How does He communicate with us? Through the Bible. Through prayers. Through blessings. So God communicates with us through the Bible, prayers, and finally He blesses us with uh, the request that we put in. So that one, Hermes. Uh, that one, uh, Robel. Your group. I mean, Okay, let's pay attention. Hello? Okay, here. Uh, you know, we've been discussing about uh, why we come to church. 
and why people don't come to church. And some of the reasons why people don't come to church is because they're too lazy, they're too tired, and they don't um, care about God enough to come. Or um, we come to church because we want to learn about God, and we want to be blessed, and we want to learn about God's word. We should come to church because we need to learn about the meaning of who we are and learn about it. Also, um, it's the things that we learn about the Bible and how we can apply them to us. Daily routine, like how the cheat the church, the church teaches them like, about patience and being patient to them at school or like, waiting for something that we want. And um, we should always remember God no matter what, and we should always be doing all this for everything, and then. Okay, so the third group, they're going to mess. So in our group, we discussed on what peer pressure was. Um, what really is peer pressure? So peer pressure is when you're forced to do something when you really don't want to, and how peer pressure can be both good and bad. And examples of good can be like your parents, for example, when they push you to be, like, succeed in school, but at the same time, you'll feel pressured because they'll like, tell you to take advanced classes, and like you'll feel like you won't succeed and you'll disappoint your parents, and that's, like, pre like, that's, that's, that's an example of peer pressure from your parents. A bad example of peer pressure can be in school. For example, in school you can be forced to like start drinking or smoke weed. Like you don't really want to do that, but like you feel pressured by your friends so you can fit in. A medium example of, like between where good and bad can be is video games, for example. Video games can be good because like you want to play the game, but like it can also be bad because you feel pressured to be like fit in. Like so you like the game you don't want to play, but like you don't want to, so you feel like you have to fit in to, in order to play that game. Peer pressure can affect our religion because like, people will be like, oh, you're this religion, so you don't need to go and do this. But at the same time, it's, like, it'll be good because like, you're connecting with God and stuff. So, yeah. Good job. Okay, let's give her a hand. Let's give her a hand. Good job. Uh, group four. Yeah, go ahead. Some influences that go into effect, into effect are your cultural background, media networking, and your group of friends. In order to prevent negative effects of peer pressure in your life, there are multiple different routes you can take. For example, be your own self. Don't take other people's identity or try not to be your, someone that you're not. The best thing you can do is pick and choose your friends wisely. If you go with a good friend, you will be influenced in more positive ways. And nice and vice versa with the negative friend. All right, just give me a hand, just give me a hand. Good job. So do you, do you guys have any questions for the each group that was here? Any questions? Okay.
So now we will have Mazmur by San Jose, uh, Debra Brahank, and this is Nasi with the Christian choir, right? Mazamra, Mazamra. That's San Jose, Namzi.
Dumnezeu să ne rog și noi de a ne vedea în să nu scăzim în ton. Church, so hopefully you guys have an idea of what to do when you come to church, or to get up each Sunday and say motivated, hey mom, dad, we're actually late, so let's go to church early, right? Because Jesus Christ, our Lord, wants you to come to Him. He wants you to come to Him. So that is the main message.